Welcome back to another one of my videos. This one's just going to be short. It's just I've been so busy, I haven't been able to do anything because all I've been doing is concentrating on our race bike for the weekend. Hopefully we won't need any spare parts, but uh, we've got to take a few little bits. Maybe some tie wraps and a spark plug. So let's have a look at my bike. Okay, here's a quick walk around our bike. As you can see, we've got uh, BGM front dampers on there. Uh, we're using some uh, progressive springs in there. The front wheel is from a Derby Vamos, I believe. So it's a bit of a strange one, which is one of my own creations. So up the top here, we're uh, running a uh, Ducast, Ducati master cylinder off a 748. And the reservoirs, where's it going? The reservoirs here in the top. So uh, that's handy. We've got the cutout switch on the handlebars. This is just a dummy fiberglass uh, part on the top of here. Um, and the, uh, it's got steel bars underneath because uh, we can get away with that here. We're within the rules. So uh, we can have metal bars so we don't have to change bars every five minutes because we already snapped quite a few sets. So working way around the back, we've got a fiber, carbon fiber seat unit. We've got the Proti exhaust on there. There you can see a kickstart, which we've left on for now, just for easy starting. That will be removed on race day. We don't ride with the kickstart. So moving around the back, we've got a Castle Ambretta rear hub here, multi-spline. Underneath, let's have a look. Underneath we're running Mike Ellings with the uh, ducted intake there. And then we'll come round for the front brake. And as you can see, that's uh, Suzuki Nissan Caliper four piston. Uh, the beauty of this one is it doesn't overheat like the uh, I had problems with my castle one on the road It overheated and that was just on road circumstances. So this is my setup on the front end for my race bike uh, Anti-dive as you can see and a Nissan Caliper and a Peugeot Disc brake on there the discs off a of Peugeot 125 Elysio so it's got wave disc and it's, uh, it's a bit uh, EBC disc I think, performance one. So that works pretty well. The front brake is pretty well, it's like a 748 front brake, it really does stop. It's got some awesome stopping power that. Okay, so uh, that's the quick look around there. We'll take the side panels off and let you see a little bit more. Okay, this is my fuel tank, which is a uh, medium range tank here. And the, uh, the fuel cap had to be replaced so we could fit our fast, uh, fast flow fuel refuel tank on there. So we can fill about 18, 18 litres in about four and a half seconds, no problem at all. We're running, oh, let's get this to work. We're running a BGM coil. As you know, we've got BGM stator in there, but with all the lighting coils removed. And that gives us extra power. Fast flow fuel tap. We're just running a SS200 kit on here. It's absolutely standard, not touched. It's bolted straight on. All I've done is just matched up the gaskets. That's all we run for this, for this endurance race. But it goes like a bat out of hell. It really does move this thing. Oh yeah, we've got a close ratio gearbox in here from Castle Ambretta. So we've got four speed close ratio. We've got a caster side cover. Uh, that's just so we can have a really nice light clutch. And we've got the six plate BGM clutch in there. Scuffed up plates, uh, medium springs. And that's, that's about it. Here's our carb, it's just a PWK 34 with some uh, induction plates fitted in it. We're running a radial head and my fiberglass covers. As you can see, it's cut away here for extra, extra cooling over the cylinder head. So, nothing super special. We've got Mitas tires on there. I'm running a medium on the back and soft on the front. 
Uh, I've got a spare soft for the back if I need it. So I'm carrying an extra spare soft tire for the back. Hopefully we don't have any rain because uh, our wets would have to be changed over because we don't have any more wheel rims. Okay, that's our fast fill. So we've got that for filling up. Tanks, oil, so you can show you what oil I'm running. I'm running uh, the Silkeline Pro 2SX. Seems to do the trick. Good enough for me. So guys, leave some comments below of what you think of our race bike and wish us luck. Right, thanks everybody for watching. Hope it was interesting. Wish us luck for the racing. Uh, hopefully the weather's gonna be good. I don't think the forecast's bad. I think we've due some rain in the next couple of days. But after that, we're dry for the weekend. Fingers crossed. See you all later.